Dr. Chinmay, working as consultant in Garbagudi IVF Center, Southern Circle. So today I'm going to talk about endometrial rejuvenation. So firstly, what is this endometrium? The, that is nothing but the inner lining of the uterus is called endometrium. We know the uterus has uh, three lining, out of which the innermost one is called the endometrium. So this endometrium is not something that is constant throughout the period inside the uterus. It keeps changing. So when we see on second day of the period, we see that it becomes very thin. That because it has come out as bleeding or shedded itself. And gradually to the hormones that is produced in the body, this lining goes on increasing. And it prepares itself for pregnancy. So when there is no pregnancy, it sheds off on its own and finally it goes off. Like this, it keeps happening every cycle. So only when this bed is good, only then the embryo can come and attach itself uh, to the endometrium and provide and this endometrium provides all the nutrition to the embryo so that it can grow further as pregnancy. So whenever there is any damage to the endometrium like in case of tuberculosis or those who have had chronic infection inside the uterus or a long-standing infection or those who have had multiple surgeries on the uterus or those who have had multiple abortions, DLCs, these are the people where the inner lining of the uterus gets damaged and it will not be uh, healthy enough or optimum uh, uh, maturity, what is required in endometrium will not be attained and they will be presenting with multiple uh, treatment failures or prolonged infertility, they wouldn't be able to go everything, their ovaries, the, the husband parameters, everything will be fine but they will not be having uh, conception or they'll be presenting uh, with uh, multiple IVF failures or IUI failures so uh, like this we have seen many patients coming with uh, thin endometriums like that i would like to just quote an example where uh, one of my patient who presented who's had a previous two uh, ivfs and they've had at least uh, three embryo transfers and then the embryo quality was good but still she did not conceive so the main issue with her was a uh, thin endometrium so when she presented to us we did an ivf and before going for endometrium we prepared her endometrium before going for embryo transfer prepared her endometrium with various treatments uh, by giving uh, BAPC with hormone replacement therapy by doing all the and other adjuvant therapies with this her endometrium came up to 7.8 millimeter with a very good blood flow and pattern with this when we did the transfer she achieved pregnancy so like this with the uh, now in the new in this era, we have multiple options available for those who are suffering with thin endometriums. So I would like to tell you what are those. Uh, firstly, let's look at the uh, natural therapies. So naturally, how one can improve the endometrial lining by uh, bringing about certain changes in their diet patterns, taking plenty of liquids next uh, to improve uh, the uh, uh, reduce the reactive oxygen species level in the blood that is by taking vitamin c rich diet like orange or taking uh, musumbis strawberries so the, or lemon all these things improves blood flow to the uterus so and also by uh, doing regular exercises especially the pelvic exercises which will improve blood flow to the uterus so these are the certain natural things which patient can do at home and improve their lining secondly what are the therapies that is available what are the things that we can do to improve the lining medical therapies like uh, by giving drugs such as aspirin this is nothing but the antiplatelets so this when we give uh, prior to the embryo transfer it improves a uh, continuous blood flow to the uterus thus when there is sufficient blood flow entering the uterus the lining grows well in response to the uh, hormone replacement therapy what we provide Second medicine that is used is vitamin E supplements. These vitamin E, how it helps is, it reduces the level of uh, uh, reactive oxygen species uh, in the blood and the uterus. So by doing this, the blood quality what reaches the uterus is better and provides a very favorable environment for the uterus uh, lining to grow and also for the embryo. Next, we have sildenafil. This sildenafil, what does it do is it uh, improves the diet, uh, the, uh, di it dilates the blood vessels, means it uh, makes the blood vessel more wide so that more blood and smooth flow of blood happens to the uterus so by giving these uh, these are the few medicines that we can use other than that we use certain drugs which has been instilled into the uterus which helps in improving the lining such as uh, we use uh, granulocyte uh, colony stimulating factor so these are the ones which are which helps in improving uh, the uh, growth factors inside the uterus and these growth factors will act on the endometrial lining the cells which is there on inside the endometrium so that it will start dividing by itself and improves uh, the thickness so these uh, we are you uh, this will be instilled directly into the uterus at least uh, two to three times before embryo transfer so that the lining improves 
then the next and the most recent uh, therapy and very effective one which is being used now is called BAPC. That means uh, what we do is uh, take the patient's own blood. So the blood contains various products. Out of these, we have platelets in the blood. So these platelets are separated and then these platelets are activated. When we activate the platelets, the platelet releases various growth factors. And these growth factors are then instilled into the uterus. Like this, we put three doses. One is put on day uh, 7 of the cycle, then one is put on day 11, and one on day 14, and then we go with the embryo transfer. So when we do this multiple uh, BAPC installations into the uterus, it improves the lining, it improves the blood flow, improves the receptivity of the endometrium so that the endometrium can accept the embryo very well and then it helps in implantation also. So these are the various methods by which we can improve the endometrial lining and thus help in achieving uh, better pregnancy rates.